Greetings and salutations. This is Evelina Manic, Lady of the Run. And I'm wearing green. Green. Well, I shoot this. This be camo. Like all the rednecks like to say. I'm not redneck. Okay, just for starters. Even though, how can you tell? Anyways. I wanted to start off saying something. Something that I think most people probably wouldn't really ever say. Okay. But I felt confident in doing so since I have just watched one of his videos. And since I'm co I commonly watch a lot of Undertaker, Archfiend, and Mr. Epsion, finally, me. Hi. Anti. Sorry. The Amazing Atheist. Yes. And I know a common refrain that comes from all of them. And that is, they all hate Shane Dawson. Well, okay, maybe not Undertaker Freak. However, I know their common frame is that they're YouTube whores. That is a YouTube whore. Like, I just seen, and good lord, this video is going to become a complete name dropping video, isn't it? Oh no, I'm already a YouTube whore. Oh my god. I have fake thumbnails on at least four of my videos. It's beginning, it's starting. Anyways. No, I'm not a YouTube whore. No. Um. But I do want to actually discuss something. About that. No, I don't really. If you want my personal opinion on him, I do watch his videos. I have laughed and giggled at them. Yes, I do think sometimes they take the comedy too far, but no worse than Robot Chicken has. I like Robot Chicken. It's funny. Way funnier than Shane Dawson at times. Mostly because they make fun of things that I get and find hilarious as well, but... I tend to think, shut up, phone. Sorry, charging the video thing. Anyways, I usually try not to cuss in these videos. Anyways, this video must go on. Anyways, but I do have to agree. When is it? When do you really do become a YouTube whore? So, and my attitude is, I guess when you start making stuff on YouTube. But the difference is, I believe there's the selling yourself out uh, for advice and information and stuff like that, and doing it for a paycheck. And I believe Shane Dawson, I Justine, and I will name these guys all on my own. I want to review their videos first before I judge, except for Shane Dawson. I've been, I'm already familiar with his stuff. And yes, some, like I said, some of it's funny, some of it is kind of dumb. Uh, and I'm definitely one of those people who feel like, you know, if I liked something, I like it. And if I wasn't one of those people who embraced her weirdness and enjoyed what she enjoys, I wouldn't be that kind of person, okay? And I frankly have to say, if you like Shane Dawson, watch him. Who gives a fuck? Pardon my language again, but still. Who cares? Big FD. B BDFD. Okay? No big, man. 
you can enjoy it. It's just, I feel, a lot of times people watch Shane Dawson and they think, oh, he's a brilliant mind and blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking, well, yeah, some of the lyrics are funny, I'll give you that. But then again, I kind of feel like these are videos he's going to show to his children, and they're going to be like, Dad, what were you doing in the corner? Uh, nothing, son. <laughs> and, uh, daughter will probably say something like, so that, uh, Dad, I didn't know you cross-dressed. Like, it was a new experience. <laughs> Well, at least with the amazing atheist, he he probably won't show his videos to his children, which I understand that nonsense. I totally understand that. It's entirely inappropriate, but but at least it's more of a not only can't he show it to his children, or if he does show it to it them at all, at least it's actually stuff that is supposed to be grounded in thinking and thought. Now, I can't say the same about my videos, which I feel like they're discussion videos, and I'm just talking about stuff, and yeah, you know, these next sets of videos that I'm going to do are going to be my personal, you know, hey, I'm turning this age, and I'm trying to break out and finally say, yes, I'm done, I'm finished. I shall rip apart papers in the air and scream, Finally! Hey, God has freed me from and what it was like to be the current age I am now, which I'm not going to say, because I don't want anyone to know how old I am. Uh, kind of videos. Because, let's put it this way, everyone needs those kinds of videos. Okay, everyone needs to get those hatred off. I mean, not too much. Just enough where it's like, hey, I made this list. I thought it out. These people may be mad. I'm trying to forget them. So after this video is over, don't ask about them, don't want to hear about them ever again, kind of things. Those are the kinds of videos I hope to make. And I know my videos are simple, because as you see, this is all you're getting until I can buy or afford a new camera that can engross everything around me and tape everything around me. This is it, okay? That's it. Sorry. I wish I could go on Patreon, but I don't really feel... Yeah, and see, there you go. There are things like that that I don't want to have anything to say about. Well... I guess you have to give the TJ one thing. If he is a YouTube whore, because yeah, at times he can be a bit of a YouTube whore. Uh, so can uh, Mr. Epsilon at times. Uh, I should be, I don't know. I, I, I have to say if they are, I think it's more of they do funny things, but at least they're realistic things that if I did it, it wouldn't be such a big deal. Oh. Um. Anyways. Sorry. I'm gonna fly in here and I'm trying to catch the little bugger before, you know, it. Like, crawling. Oof. Oof. Flies. Hey, flies. Don't. Don't ever have flies in your house. Ever. You, you will not live to regret that. Bit of advice. But anyways. Okay. What was I about to say about YouTube horse? Oh, right. <laughs> I believe one will be selling out. Oh, meaning everything. Everything is put on display. We exploit it. You hopefully won't see that on my channel. Oh. Well, unless... I'm making it to so you can make fun of me and my reactions. Okay? To just everyday life. That's the case. Just like, uh, 
I've seen Undertaker freaks sometimes. His do where he's like, you know what makes my, you know, you know what makes my ass red? You know what gives me the red ass? Makes my ass 17 shades of red. And, and, except mine is, I probably shouldn't do it, but, uh, because I think Dr. Luther King, Martin Luther King would be very pissed off at me to see me a young, aspiring African American or Nubian princess that I am to be curling my lips. So, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. But, I'm sure there's other things like, uh, what makes my glasses glow? Makes my glasses glow 50 freaking shape. Hands up. Bright white light. It. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make Eli James really regret the fact that she made it, read, wrote that book. We're really gonna make her regret it at 20 years, 30, maybe, maybe 50. Yeah, that's the age of that book. <laughs> I swear. Anyways, and then I guess the last thing would be they rarely ever talk about serious subjects. It's more they make fun of it, they have fun with it, they, you know, whenever you take songs and then meander around points and make fun of the people and the music and blah blah blah. Yeah, I think you have to argue. It's not really a very mature video now, is it? <laughs> but, yeah, since I watched it, yes, I did laugh. Um... I'd say Bart Barker's another. I like his, uh, I like to watch his videos, too. I have found, uh, what makes you beautiful would be his funniest for some reason. Even though I don't like gay jokes, I really don't. But it's just more of like, I, I don't know. I have to admit, maybe it's me, but I don't think, uh, I ever say I am fat I or I am homosexual I think it's hard to actually say that word because to be honest I just yeah I just can't really bring myself to say it but and I don't think this is the video to do it in anyways considering like I said I'm not a YouTube whore even though I'm here on YouTube and I'm making videos and you're watching them and probably great Ha ha ha! Black girl in green and cam green shirt and camo hat. That's and shiny, shiny, pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny glasses. Yeah, they shine, but they are like diamonds in my eyes. Yes. or on my eyes. Take your pick. <laughs> But anyways, is I will watch other videos here on YouTube like that because actually I will say it's not saying you can't like both. It really isn't. And I guess the lesson here is just to learn when you're watching their videos. And I don't like to sanitize the words of the amazing atheists or any of those people because I kind of feel like. They're pretty damn obvious, folks. He didn't say you couldn't like Shane Dawson. I see comments like that all the time, and they're like, e you know, you're just not cool. You're not awesome enough. And I'm thinking, no, they just stated an opinion. That's all it is. They stated an opinion. And I know it's on YouTube, it's a public forum, and people can agree or disagree with you. However, you guys are taking it either way too personally, or, or, or thinking Amazing Atheist has the right to make those decisions for you, and that is not a good thing for anyone. I mean, I have those issues too. I've watched things here on YouTube and had people make fun of me for them. Okay, 
I have watched Nostalgia Critic and a whole lot of channels to make fun of my childhood. Okay, good. Dark. <laughs> Somewhat dark. Well, okay. Take your pick. You can either go with Rainbow Bright coming out of my eyes or, or just the screen. This the YouTube upload screen in my eyes, too. <laughs> good. One way or another, you're getting me. But, yes. I believe it's hard to really gauge what YouTube core is, considering it doesn't matter what you do, you put it on YouTube, it's here on YouTube. Deal with it. Here now, you are you making any money off the AdSense? And if the answer is yes, you're a YouTube whore. Um are you however I guess you wouldn't necessarily deem them YouTube whores. I guess I'd like to say they're more like YouTube philosophers. That's what I would call it. And that's a good word. At least it's saying, well, their love of knowledge. They wish to follow the way of knowledge, which is good. I believe that's a great thing. I hope to be more like them. Huh. Yes, I still believe I am a YouTube whore. Okay? That is what I am. I can't help it. I'm making videos here on YouTube. And whether you like it or not, I'm still making adsense off the monies and views that your guys are making. However, I still like you guys to have comments. And it's not saying that Shane Dawson doesn't allow it, but it's sort of like he directs the conversation. So it's aimed at only making him money. So that's basically it, the thing. You know, you, it's basically, oh! Add and subscribe here. Uh, comment down below and uh, all these things. And he never really engages you or asks you real life hard questions. And, but some cases, that's what comedy calls for. You know, that's what comedy is supposed to do. Just to challenge us and ask us real questions. It's like adults and realize that this is how life is and whether we like it or not, whether we like to agree with these people who come up in our faces and ask us questions, we might as well just deal with it. It's life. Move on. Huh. However, I would probably say there are Horrible YouTube whores as well, but that's for another video, and I'm not going to discuss them here. Huh? Anyways, this is definitely no melee. Lady of the Realm. Or Emerald Green. No, I'm not going to continue with that. As you see, I'm wearing a camo hat, and that just wouldn't go well with my beret. Okay? Anyways, this is definitely no melee. Lady of the Realm, uh, which you know, good night, and many hearts in whose day to my bronies. Hey, uh, you also to follow me on my Tumblr, and I know here comes the plug, and my Twitter. Huh? Peace.